Today's episode is brought to you by your local New Holland dealer. She thinks my tractor sexy. It really turns her on. She's always staring at me while I'm chugging along. She likes the way it's pulling while we're tilling up the land. She's even kind of crazy about my farmer's tan. Remember, kids, only you can prevent bad karaoke. So in case you hadn't noticed right now, yep, I built a steam tractor. Why? Just cause. Just I had time to kill while building what's all underneath of that chunk of concrete right there. I also kind of wanted to expand my farms uh, slowly. <laughs> this house will all get boxed in so it looks good. In due time, in due time. Uh, a tractor is a really neat tool as far as you know, your agriculture goes. Um, on a server with proper division of labor, the farmer would not be the guy getting to build this, however. So you'd have to... Like, there's a lot of parts that go into this thing. As well as for the attachments. And you'd, you better hope your machinist is on your good side. Although I have to say... That like the uh, steam truck, this thing has here. Let's just reach in here and pull this module off. It's got lots of storage. Uh, these are used when you run in the the harvester. Uh, it pulled seeds directly out of the seeder. The problem is, it seems to pull them out a lot faster than it can use them. So by rights. The seeds I got from what I harvested here during my very terrible intro should have been enough to completely reseed it. I think what's happening is when you run over a block, it thing places places a seed, like takes it out of the inventory, puts it in the ground, regardless of whether there's one there or not. So your seeds don't seem to last as long. That's it's a beta. They'll work on it eventually. The model is amazing. We have this. Uh, what I should have done was brought the steam truck down here. But the same kind of front end. Like this. This is obviously the the engine for it, right? Clicking on it brings up this stuff. Brings up that, right? It's a modular kind of model. Clicking anywhere else puts you here in the driver's seat. It's got its own little gauges there. That, uh, don't really do anything, but they add to the look of it. It drives just like the steam truck, so WASD. Uh, that's got the exhaust pipe right smack there in the middle. <laughs> if I had it, the only thing I could possibly say about the model is that given the style, it ought to have one of those great big flywheels off the side. If you've seen old timey tractors, they've got a great big extra flywheel somewhere here on the side. Um, originally, originally, you didn't pull, you didn't hook your implement up behind this thing and use the tractor, like drive it and the tractor across the field. You would park this thing on the side of the field, hook up a rope, and it would spool up and pull your plow across the field. You would hop in, drive to the other side, run your rope across, pull your thing back, <laughs> <laughs> so they call it a tractor. It would be a neat thing to see. Uh, it's not required. It would just be for that that old timey look that this thing kind of has, right? However, up here, you see some smoke. Uh, to build what's underneath the thing over there, you should be able to guess by now what I built, given that I had to build an oil refinery to do it. Up here, here we go. And you have glitched out again. You're, I know you're here. Okay, let's turn you on. Get all of those beautiful things running. Again, I love the models in this thing. They've done a great job. Everything looks like big parts. I've never climbed up on top. Of, can you climb on top of one of these things? What happens? Oh, oh, there, there I am. Right, we were going up and down. That's just... There we are. <laughs> you 
Legs are... Got the suspensions going there. That's for sure. Can I walk forward? Can't really walk forward. Can't... Can't jump. Oh, I know why. Because I need to do this. Just walk out to the end of our donkey. Up and down and up. <laughs> ah, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Let's get back out of third person here. Now, like, none of these... In terms of gameplay, these pipes don't do anything. Okay? They don't do... These pipes don't do a thing. They they visually connect to certain things if you line them up properly. Like if I take this out of here, right? Can't. Got to do that again. You know, if I put it here, point straight up. Doesn't help me. But for aesthetic purposes, I want them to be there because what is a refinery without pipes everywhere? So you go in here. I need, what do I need? I need a whole lot of plastic. Because plastic and, plastic and epoxy are needed for a whole bunch of stuff. And while I'm on the subject, somebody, how much synthetic rubber do we need to make a wheel? Rubber wheel. Two rubber for a wheel. Got the, I gotta count my fingers here. Got skid steer, crane. And the truck and the excavator should be 13 wheels and a 26. Well, I'll tell you what. Whoop, no, not 200. Not that many. There. Now, what is, un what is unfortunate is that in the previous thing I played, Barrels were a reusable object. So you would, you know, you'd put a barrel over here. This thing would turn it into a barrel of oil. It's one of these. Get out of my way, invisible thing. One of these. No, not concrete. Would turn it into one of these. And you would run it through the refinery and you'd get your empty barrel back. The slight problem with this is that once you have... The individual units don't work well when it comes to your efficiencies, right? So right now, to get this, this is crafted at a... This petroleum comes out of there. Uh, there's nothing that... Like, you get one barrel for one, right? But when you use it... So I'll make gasoline, right? So my eight, I'm pointing at my screen here. <laughs> Again. One barrel of this turns into one barrel of gasoline. Whereas if you don't have the proper efficiencies, you would need five barrels to get one barrel of gasoline. So where do your barrels go? And in the previous version, you could get uh, you could get multiple barrels of something per barrel of oil. So you'd wind up with way more barrels than you started with, which I realize is a problem. Uh, I am assuming that once they can't can't rotate it, like I said, barrels are actually a thing in the game. You can actually use them just for idle decoration, which is which is which is still cool, right? Like I mean, you hit E to pick them up, and you can just put them wherever, right? Like here, I want to I want to put a barrel over here, just for decoration's sake. That is that is neat. And you get petroleum, you get biodiesel. The biodiesel barrels aren't actually. <laughs> it doesn't take barrels to make biodiesel. And it's biodiesel is fairly high up on the chain. You're using uh, tallow. Right there. Tallow. You're using buffalo and deer squeezins to make biodiesel. Yeah. I know it works in the skid steer, and it works in the... Excavator doesn't work in the truck. I'm not sure if it works. There's a combustion generator, which is a better version of this thing here that you can't see right now. But you have to trust me. You have to trust me it looks awesome, even if you can't see it. But I, I, why do I keep picking up this reinforced concrete? 
yeah, this will all get turned into other stuff. I do miss the whole bit where you could manufacture barrels and they got used over and over again. I imagine once they get liquids worked out, then you'll be able to do stuff like this, like pipe it straight into a refinery. It'd be like, um, like the Buildcraft refinery for Minecraft, right? Or a tank. A tank would be cool. Give me a, a nice big tank like that. Or a modular tank would actually be even cooler. You know? Like it would have to be a at least a 5x5x5 five by five by five high, but then you can make it even this giant tank farm and stuff. <laughs> oil, oil, oil. I love oil. <laughs> I love stuff like this. However, let's hop back down to where we're going here. Doing. So, down here. I had to throw an annex on the side. You'll notice there's something in there. If I manage to build the robotic assembly plant, power grid has insufficient power. Which means my... Uh, oh, it's not making anything. That just means that my power thing... This is seriously a bit of an irritating glitch. Power thing is not making power. Are you out of fuel or are you just not doing anything? Disabled, you have fuel. Alright, so you just shut up because you're not doing anything. So I had to squeeze this thing here somehow, because it still needs to access chests and containers full of components. And I wanted to see... Right, I wanted to see... The building is an average tier of 3, right? So we have... Uh, 29 blocks of brick in here, because I needed something different. Like, you back up like this, and it's all one color. Not a fan. Really, really, really not a fan. Like if we had, if we had concrete with hazard stripes on it, that would be, like when you get to here, and you're selecting your stuff, if there was, like the way there's one extra brick color, right? If there was something with hazard stripes, so you could properly denote areas of the world, that would be awesome. But hopefully this thing has made, there we are. Solve my power problems. Take you. And we're just going to put you straight on top of the roof. Because why not? And it wants. Lever goes on. Can't place there. Why are you blocked? Shouldn't be blocked. There we are. There we are. A wind turbine. Oh, I bet you I know. I bet you it was that right there blocking it. And if you want to, you can you can turn it on and off. Right. You say, nope, I don't want no power. Turn it on and off. Why would you? So now we have a thousand watts power going out. Which is enough to run a couple of these machines at a time. I still have to put this down somewhere. And the last I remember, it was about the size of that big bastard. Maybe not that big. It's there we are. Okay, you're not huge. I seem to recall you being a lot larger. Status. Oh, we still have room in here. So let's just take you and put you gently in between these things. Block, 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 block. Blocked. We'll put you absolutely nowhere over here by the wall. There. Yeah, there's so many things got to cram into one room. And you require power? Power grid operational. Oh, yeah, power. Demands two. What the hell did I just have finished? How much crap just... Oh, all my oil come up. You make corrugated steel. I've made corrugated steel before. A long-ass time ago I made some corrugated steel. Let's make 24 seconds, eh? Let's make one corrugated steel. Do I have any heavy epoxy? Now let's make one. F it's gonna take a minute. I'll have to be occupied for a minute while I make one thing. 
How hard can that be? <laughs> I'm doomed. You shouldn't be connected to any other inventory to put stuff down. So in a minute here, we'll get one corrugated steel. Shows up as a pile of bars. What's a diamond plate pattern? That's cool. Oh, can't can't place a block there. There we are. Oh, that's why, because we were in front of that thing. So that's what it looks like if you just throw it on the ground. Over here, what do we have? We have block of boring. We have a wall, which is corrugated. And the corrugations would show up as you build more of it. Oh, what's the pillar? Uh, sh pretty much shapeless. Ooh, diamond plate. That's cool. That's a neat pattern. What's next? That's the roof. So that's, uh... It's the clay tile with a gizmo on top. Pillar. Uh, why is it always night? It's a pillar. Got... Oh, this was... Here, this was neat. This is... One of the really neat parts. There, check that out. Steel stairs. <laughs> and they look so much different than all the other ones, which is so neat. Hang on, did I build... Did I build a white? Twelve seconds to build a wall lamp. And we have one steel over here. Okay. And no white bulbs. Ah, oh, Grumble, I will be back in a second. Okay, there, got some light in here. Made a few of these things. These things are uh, uh, 250 watts. Like, these machines take 250 watts. That thing eats 250 watts, but it's what we have to do in order to see what we're doing here. So that was the stairs, right? That was the stairs. And this is the window. Which you can't turn. And I'll bet... I'll bet you don't align with things. Oh, you do. Not, But not really. Anyway. So that's our... Yeah, you can't turn. It's supposed to sort of auto-align with things. Sometimes they don't. It's a pain in the ass. Like the... Uh, yeah. Stupid door. Go there. Those things up there, if I tried to put one of these windows up there, it would turn, it would be uh, perpendicular. Doesn't look good. Still counts as a block in place, but it doesn't really work for you. So, flat steel is kind of the same. Let's see. Ooh, hey, that's. Okay, we've got diamond plate. Got wall is flat gray wall. Got a nice beveled edge on it, but still a flat gray wall. You are the same tops texture, just without the uh, funky shape. I'm guessing you are. You are concrete texture, the same thing. Pillar. That's a concrete pillar. Just slightly reskinned. I'm okay with that. And the stairs ought to be. Oh, no. Oh, they're actual. Nope, can't put it there because of the door. Flat steel stairs. Hmm. Go away, you. Interesting, but that's a tier four material. So it's that and framed glass, which means to build. Uh, we still have to build a tier three house for crying out loud, right? Like I need to build a house out of out of concrete and corrugated steel. It's not going to look good. I'm going to warn you now. It's going to look. It's going to be butt ugly. Like if you think that carbuncle over there is bad. 
Uh, I'm going to have to build that house over here somewhere so it blends in with our industrial hell. I really won't have a choice. However, since nothing here is... Let's grab you. Uh, let's, let's get you off the road for a minute. You hang over the side. That's odd. One thing that helps to add to your housing... I bet you I can't reach this anymore. <laughs> I can't reach it. Come here, stairs. Need you one last time. Are you kidding me? Here we are. Got the light. If you have lights on in the house, your house is worth more. So if I grab you, since... Nothing's working over here anymore. Uh, however, if you place the uh, if you place the turbine, if you place any power generating thing on the property, it buggers up the room. Or if it qualifies, I'm trying to remember how this works. I put one down one time, and it just completely ruined the value of my house because it was on a claimed piece of property. Let's go up here. I'm not going to get on the roof, am I? Sure, you know, yes, I am going to get on the roof. I'm going to get all up inside this roof. Get all up inside this roof. Uh, okay. Hello, pillar? Get that way. <laughs> completely, completely uglify my roof. Okay, we need you. Okay, housing didn't bung up. We're still soft capped so hardcore right now. So much stuff in this house that just doesn't belong in this house. So if we come in here, and here in the foyer, I can't put that because the ceiling's too high. So let's put you in... Let's put you in the room with all the really fancy stuff. Let's do this. Room is four wide, isn't it? I'm a fool. Okay, four lamp then. Put you up. I am terrible at interior decorating. Okay, whatever. There. House is now worth some more skill points per day. So the more we light the place up, oh wow, we got two points out of that. And then here, and now they're probably just repeating. There. So we've maxed out, we've maxed out the power on that poor turbine. However, we have light in the house now, which isn't going to stay there because I need that wind turbine to do other things. <laughs> like, make more wind turbines. Anyway, I'll get back to that. I'll have to... Yeah, I'll have to process an awful lot of steel. To build an entire house out of steel and glass. And then afterwards, build a house out of steel and... That's, that's a tier two. Tier three is... Concrete and steel, and tier four is concrete and glass. Nope. Corrugated. Flat steel. God, it's going to be so ugly. So amazingly ugly. I will try to not make it look too ugly. Hopefully. But <laughs> we will see you. In the, well, if, if it's not too bad. If it's not too horrible, we'll see you again. <laughs>